Oh shit. Wait, is that my bus? At the Debris Center right now. I'm getting ready to take the Joe to Johnson County Community College. Um, I never, well, I've taken the Joe before, but I've never, like, um, done it by myself. So I'm a little apprehensive to do that, but I don't have a car. So this is kind of what happens when you can't, you know, afford a car or you don't have a car. Um, I feel really uncomfortable recording myself just because it's something that I've never done before, but I thought it would be cool to document, like, my experience on public transportation today because it is, um, not as accessible in the United States as it is in other countries, and especially not in this part of the United States, so that is why I am recording myself and making my everyone around me feel uncomfortable. It's actually over here and it's really nice. They have a little um, shelter. Uh, we also have a ton of bike parking. And I know this is like a developing area on campus, so it makes sense why they would do that. But I really am impressed by this area. I haven't been here since uh, probably like freshman year. Um, just because this was under construction my sophomore year and I think my junior year and it's still technically under construction but it looks like it's a little bit quieter now. We have the K10 connector which makes me really happy because I know that I'm at the right place. Uh, yeah so that segment is really nice. Uh, we also have the KU bus stop. Um, also I downloaded the Kansas City Ride Kansas City app on my phone so I should just be able to get on the bus show them my um, Kansas City bus fare and hopefully things will go smoothly I'm here about uh, 18 minutes early so I should be fine hopefully okay so this is the Joe I'm on board but there's people around me so I did a voiceover instead of recording out loud County Community College right now. Um, the bus was really, really nice, really comfortable. I just woke up actually because I fell asleep. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for a new bus that's in 30 minutes. I want to add that I got really confused while I was at Johnson County because I looked on Google Maps to find out when my bus was going to be there and it said out of service. So I like kind of got worried and I called the busing service and they said it was in service, just Google had it wrong. So I just wanted to put that in there just so uh, you guys know that the website or the that Google didn't have it up to date. familiar with this area but it did feel really sprawled out there wasn't a lot of walking space and the neighborhood seemed really wealthy it felt weird driving through this really nice neighborhood with like multi-million dollar homes um, on public transportation and I just wonder if that has an effect on the people who rely on public transportation to see kind of um, the environment that is right next door to them but is unaccessible for them. My journey here on 47th and Jefferson. I am in the plaza. Uh, yeah. The bus driver knew everyone on his bus like he recognized everyone he asked me where I was going he 
guests that I was going to the plaza, which is where I was going, which is pretty cool. Um, everyone that got on there seemed, I don't, this sounds really like rude, but everyone on there seemed very, very normal. And I've noticed in Lawrence, I've gotten harassed or just stared at before when I ride the bus by men. And these people seemed uh, not like that at all. Um, overall, I'm very impressed. Yeah, it took, oh yeah, I started a timer, so I'm gonna see how long it took. It took three, two, sorry, two hours and 33 minutes to get from Lawrence to Kansas City, which is normally like a 45 minute drive. So that's really long. That's what, nearly three times as long as it would to drive or take an Uber. But you know, um, I didn't have anything to do today, but it just, what about the people that need to get to their jobs or people, students that want to go to interviews in Kansas City or, um, you know, people that don't have cars or their car breaks down and, you know, life happens. So, kind of scary to think that if I wanted to get to Kansas City, the fastest route would take me two and a half hours. But, you know, uh, yeah. I just want to close by saying that I did this because I'm taking a course right now about urban planning and in that class we talk a lot about public transportation but I realized that there is public transportation in Lawrence and in Kansas City and I don't utilize it enough and I don't have a car so I should be one of the people that actually uses it the most. Um, it is accessible for me but it's not accessible for everyone. Not everyone can pay the fares. Um, not everyone can uh, go at the times that the rides are offered, but I thought this would be a cool perspective to see what it's like for a student to go to Kansas City from Lawrence. So thank you for watching. Bye!